the centrality of the Holy Bible amongst other scriptures. Thesis The Old and New Testaments of the Holy Bible remain the unique Word of God in written form despite many challengers. The ancient records preserved by Noah through the Great Flood have been incorporated into the Bible as well as into many ancient myths. The books of Moses, the Torah, date from the 15th century BCE. The unique deity, Yahweh, inspired Moses to write the Torah in the midst of Egyptian hegemony with its ancient scriptures, pyramid texts, and the books of the dead. Moses was instructed in all the wisdom of the Egyptians, and he was mighty in his words and deeds. During the following millennium, Yahweh spoke many times through the Hebrew prophets. During the rise and fall of Hittite, Canaanite, Assyrian, Babylonian, Persian, and Greek empires, Yahweh asserted his unique claims over all dominant gods, myths, and scriptures. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and he is to be feared above all gods. Under Roman religious and political domination, the Messiah came as promised by Moses and the prophets. The Gospel writers compiled eyewitness accounts of the life death and resurrection of Jesus, whose apostles penned their epistles to Jewish and Gentile Christian communities. However, in the first two centuries CE, the collection of books called the New Testament came to be commonly recognized as authentic. Despite the emergence of Gnostic Gospels and Epistles, attributed to the Apostles. Even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to the one we preached to you, let him be accursed. Following the destruction of Jerusalem and its temple in the year 70 CE, Jews began compiling their oral traditions, Mishnah, into rabbinical texts called the Talmud. The decisions of the Talmud are words of the living God. Jehovah himself asks the opinions of earthly rabbis, when there are difficult affairs in heaven. Meanwhile, Messianic Jews appealed solely to the Torah and the prophets alongside of their New Testament. For three centuries, some Roman emperors tried to eliminate Christianity and to destroy all New Testament scriptures, issuing edicts deifying themselves. It was the 19th year of Diocletian's reign, when an imperial decree was published everywhere, ordering the scriptures destroyed by fire, then that all be coerced by every possible means into offering sacrifice. Jesus said, Everything written about me in the law of Moses and the prophets, and the psalms, must be fulfilled. From the 7th century to this day, Islamic invaders impose their Quran and Sharia on all conquered lands and communities. We have sent down to you the scripture. Towards the 17th century, Freemasonry was appealing to the Regius poem and to other ancient documents to support its existence. Fifteen articles they there sought, and fifteen points they wrought. In the nineteenth century, new religions in the West created new scriptures. Mormonism revised a stolen novel to promote fake history in its Book of Mormon, whilst the Jehovah's Witness perverted parts of the Bible to teach their continually changing heresies. In the 20th century, Progressivism, New Age, Rosicrucians, Neo-Paganism, 
evolutionism, Islamism, Zionism, New World Order, generated a continual flow of new literature, music, and drama to advance their agenda. What is incredible about the Bible is not its divine authorship, it's that such a concoction of contradictory nonsense could be believed by anyone to have been written by an omniscient God. Meanwhile, the world Christian movement is penetrating every nation and ethnic community where the Holy Bible must confront hundreds of Vedas, Avestas, Sutras, Chings, Chants, Poems and Traditions. I am the compiler of Vedanta, and I am the knower of the Vedas. In the 21st century, the Bible is completely ignored, both in scholarship and in popular culture, being displaced by controlled media, fake news, artificial intelligence, and globalist authorities. Nevertheless, the Bible is being translated into all remaining literate and oral languages, proving still to be the most read scriptures on earth. Could it be worth your time to read 